Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Judy. And welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm finally, finally, finally back. Well, I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I, I just didn't post for a day. I do that all the time. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making a big deal out of it. But I think I'm making a big deal out of it because, uh, I don't know, I had, like, the worst 24 hours of my recent life, I wouldn't say probably my life ever, but just in recent history, it was a pretty bad 24 hours. But I am back to watch another Amberlynn Reed 30 minute special. <laughs> I don't know why I called it a special. It's it's something. It's like episode three or four or something of this new series she's doing, aka just another fucking day on the Amberlynn Reed vlog channel. I did post a video on Monday and very likely if you are an iPhone or iPad user, if you use those devices to watch YouTube, you didn't get a chance to see it. And it seems like actually a lot of you are probably iPhone or iPad users because truly that video did like half as well as most of my videos do. And I was just, that was part of the contributing factor to like a bad 24 hours for me. But if you're having issues with watching that, and you use an iPhone or iPad to watch it, the only thing I can tell you now is to just try to, like, on your iPhone, if you really want to watch the video, copy and paste it into your Safari browser, and you should be able to watch it there. Some other people have talked about, like, sending the link in a text to yourself so you can watch it. There are many workarounds. It's not ideal. I had tweeted with YouTube, because if you don't know, most of us here on YouTube, most of us creators, unless you have millions of followers, the only way to get in touch with YouTube is through Twitter. Like, I swear to gosh, it's the only way I've ever had any kind of successful customer support from YouTube in any kind of way. And so I did tweet at YouTube. They tweeted back at me, and I posted this on my community tab, that they say everything is working fine. Everything's working fine, even though I'm still getting posts and comments on that particular video to this day saying that people can't watch it. So, YouTube, I think, is done. I don't know. I considered for a while just trying to re-upload the video, but honestly, I'm not sure if that's, like, worth my time at this point either. So, I think the best thing I can suggest is if you want to watch it, copy and paste the link into a browser. There are several reasons why I was so frustrated in that 24 hours. The largest reason is that our air conditioning stopped working. So I had spent like a big chunk of my day working on that particular video, whether it was filming it in front of these very hot lights that are on right now, editing it, or even just like the process of uploading it. It can take a, a while, especially because I, I film in like 4K or something like that. I don't really know. It takes a while to upload. So I had spent a lot of time while I was also struggling with like the very hot, humidness of my, my home. <laughs> and so it was just all around frustrating and I think I'm just ready to move on. But I did want to say that in one final place, if you had issues with it, that's the only thing I know how to do. And it seems to mostly just be iPhone, iPad users trying to use the app. Now, the other thing that was frustrating about it is that there are so many people bringing this up and I was trying to tell people everywhere. I was trying to post about it in as many places so y'all would know. So if there's ever something like that happening, I probably am addressing it somewhere. So like check the pinned comments in the future because I did pin a comment about it. Check my community tab post because I did make a post there. I posted on my Instagram stories and I also posted on Twitter. So all places you can check if there's ever something weird going on <laughs> with my channel, I probably will address it in one of those places, if not all of them like I did here, all right? So thank you all for your patience. I'm sad <laughs> that you don't get to see or that it's di so difficult to see a video that I put a lot of time into because Amberlynn's out here making 30 minute television episodes now. And so it's sad to me that so many people couldn't see it. I wish that wasn't the case and I hope it doesn't happen today, but it is what it is and I'm ready to move forward, okay? So today we do, in fact, 
have another like nearly 30 minute episode from Amberlynn Reed of this series where she's trying to lose 14 pounds so that she can get to an overall weight loss goal of 100 pounds because she's taking it from whichever highest weight she's picking for the day, you know, because she, she just picked a number and now she just needs 14 pounds to hit 100 pounds lost altogether or something like that. I don't know. Y'all y'all know that the the math is the math is kind of whoop. Is this is this a calculus? Is this cuz in your own calculus it's like the sine and cosine ways or is that tr trigonometry? Well, it's a little bit of both. I was a math major once upon a time. But anyways, <laughs> Let's get into this reaction because it's gonna take a while again. It's gonna take a while. All right, so the name of today's video is Living with Lymphedema, Come Shopping with Me, and Obsessed with Food. 500 pound girl, episode four. Honestly, truly, y'all know, there's only so much I can say at this point about her health concerns. There was somebody that was like in my comments that was like, hey, Zach, I feel like you continuously downplay Amberlynn Reed's health issues. And that seems to be a comment, it's just not this one person, it seems to be a comment that I'm getting a little more often on my channel when it comes to some of these videos. I just wanna be clear, I'm not like trying to downplay anything. I have a well-documented history on my channel. I, I've only ever deleted one video in my whole life and it wasn't even about Amberlynn Reed, okay? I have a whole documented history where I have in the past talked a lot about her health and a lot about her eating and things like that and like obviously to some extent she's spending a lot of time right now on her channel talking about her eating and her health and I'm trying to balance how much commentary I give on that because my philosophy is that like nothing I say is going to change that. Nothing I say is going to be helpful in like changing her approach on things and a lot of it is stuff I've already said before in the past anyways, you know? I, I want to make sure I'm bringing like interesting and new commentary to things and also like being productive and I don't think it's always productive for me to be like Amberlynn is overweight, Amberlynn is obese, like yeah we know, <laughs> we know and honestly truly I'm pretty sure Amberlynn knows without me saying anything about it, right? I think there will always be, you know, people who think I talk about it too much, people who don't think I talk about it enough. I honestly am just giving you my raw reaction to what I see and trying to be thoughtful. But you know what I'm saying? So I only am saying that now because she's obviously going to talk about her lymphedema. I don't know shit about lymphedema. I don't have lymphedema. I don't know if I know anybody. I might know somebody in real life that has lymphedema. I don't know that much about it because I'm not a medical professional, so I might not have a lot of commentary to give about it. Is that fair? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just watching the video and enjoying it as a viewer. So let's get to, let's get to. Hello. So welcome to episode four. Hey, bestie. I'm the mood right off the jump. Oh. Because I did my weigh in. I was expecting to be down because. See, she's gonna. If she says, "Oh, I gained 0.4 pounds," and then gets mad about it, I'm just gonna be like, "Bestie, that's fluctuation. That that is a natural fluctuation." I don't know. I mean, I, I could see her being frustrated if she woke up and she gained like four pounds. That's, I think, a little bit different. But if she if she's about to say, I lost point four, or I gained point four of a pound. I was remembering yesterday's episode, I was trying really hard not to binge. Uh -huh. And I did not cave. I did not order well, the Well, good, dogs. good. The chicken nuggets. That, I great. stayed within calories. Perfect. But I was still up point two. And I know a lot of people... <laughs> Go take a fucking shit. Would tell me in this case, we'll stop weighing yourself daily. I know I'm not even gonna tell you to stop weighing yourself daily. You literally set a goal for yourself to lose 0.4 of a pound the other day. Okay, so if you if you can be satisfied with losing, you you should understand. That's like why these decimal points are dumb. You know, if you were not using the U.S. like system of measurements and you were using like the metric system and you're weighing yourself in like kilograms, 
You wouldn't even see this point point two of a pound, bestie. Like that's how ridiculous and goofy this is. <laughs> like, I love math. I love numbers. I think it's great. Math is the universal language. It's the same in every country unless you're using different measurements, <laughs> units of measurement. But like, this is goofy. This is goofy. This is super goofy. You're, we're talking two tenths of a pound, one fifth of a pound. If you can't handle fluctuations, you're probably right, but I'm not gonna stop weighing myself daily. Well, <laughs> then that's also goofy. If you could sit here and look at the self-awareness and be like, seeing these fluctuations has my brain fucked up and I should stop doing it, but I'm not going to, like, go talk to your therapist and unpack that. Bestie, I'm just being, that's like genuine advice. I know you're not watching for my advice, that's fine. But truly, if you, if you can sit here and reflect on that and have that level of self-awareness, we gotta keep going. We're 40 seconds into this video, <laughs> Jesus. A little frustrated with this weigh-in. It has put me in a bad mood. Y you so shouldn't ruin your whole day over two tenths of a pound. I need to fluctuate without feeling this way. I mean, I can understand feeling this way if I was up like a pound, you know? Even, up. even being up a pound is goofy to get frustrated over that. Wait, like too, but it's more than that. Like, I no, it's not. Much, like losing weight. And it's like, not only did I not lose today, but I also gained the point too. I, Whatever. I'm so gonna fucking I, bang my head against this fucking wall over here. The first meal. I'm gonna lose. I just really keep it at simple because I'm just, I don't know, like I said, not in it to win it today. So I'm Get in it. Have, it's an everyday process. It's an everyday thing. Sometimes you're not going to make the progress overnight that you want to make. But it's an every, you gotta, you have, keep your head in it every day, girl. Cup of noodle. Oh, not wow. the cup of noodle. Okay. Not the sodium. It's a little better. It's because there's a literal light. Okay, well maybe don't oh, film right, right there. I'm just gonna. Why do we gotta film I'm right there then? There's 290 calories. Um, I also woke up with some tooth pain because sometimes I clench my teeth in my sleep. Does anyone else do that? Yeah. Yes, I act I really actually do. And I went to the dentist and he uh, he suggested I get a mouth guard. It's It's been a lifesaver. Life changer. Life changer. I have so much less, like, jaw pain. I um, used to get, like, ear and throat irritation all the time. Come to find out that that's because... All those things are connected. Life changer. Game changer. Couldn't be better. Get a mouth guard. Wear a mouth guard to bed. I know I'm old as fucks out here suggesting you wear a night guard to bed, but I'm just saying, it'll change your life. Our pantry is disgusting. Is it's it? Nice. It looks about the same it as it always nice. does. But, yeah. So this is what I'm having. So, uh, uh, I have to say... Uh, not <laughs> how she doesn't get the dissonance of I gained point two, but I'm gonna I, I also am gonna set a goal for myself to lose point six. Girl, these these decibels are so silly. My actual weight it was four eighty four point eight. Well, yesterday I was four eighty four point six. Okay, so I'm currently just doing laundry. Work. Uh, it's been a little bit since I talked Lo to you guys. Love doing laundry. And I kind of feel better Better about my weight-in. Okay, so. girl, thank you. Come on, self-reflection. Let's let's move past it. It's two tenths of a pound. Um fluctuations are gonna happen. And I just know that if I just you guys are literally sitting on clean sheets right now, by the way. I know that if I just keep the the way that she is always letting us know how janky her setups are. <laughs> Like any other YouTuber, I swear to gosh. Stay on track. Then the only thing that can happen. Girl, can we is can we boss. can you just set up a tripod or something? Can we stop readjusting the camera? I can't even focus on whatever the point you're trying to make is. So yeah. Uh, oh, that I is. Know, I was just expecting. That is such a chaotic way to go about putting laundry detergent 
and, and your washer. You're not going to measure anything. You're just going to pump a couple squirts. What do you know about pumping a couple squirts? <laughs> but you just, you're just going to willy-nilly toss it in there like that. Need to lose weight, so I think that's what oh, we need. Uh, why is that so chaotic to Sad. me? So this is just detergent. Why was that so chaotic? And I put some softener. Oh. Also, are you supposed to put, listen, I don't use fabric softener. I don't think it actually helps your clothing and I've heard that it can ruin your, your washing machine, so I just don't. But I thought you are supposed to put that in a special compartment. Why is she just squirting it in there with everything else? Does it not go in a special compartment? Why am I getting so worked up about laundry? I think I'm still hung up on the two tenths of a pound thing. That was so chaotic. I need to put more in here. And then, in this cute little container. Oh, are we, do you also just dump those straight in there? Some of these. Oh my God, they smell so good. What so is this? So good. I, as somebody who literally only just uses detergent, which I don't know, maybe that's chaotic for y'all, but, but like, there's just so much shit we're pouring into this washing machine. I'd say that's a large load. Ooh, same. A large me. load. <laughs> Noel to me. <laughs> that's inappropriate, that's inappropriate. Don't tell Noel I said that. I do weigh-ins and they don't make me happy, I'll like binge that day, but you know what? Let's not do that. It's two no. tenths of a pound. That ain't happening. It's two tenths of a pound, because girly. I feel the progress, I see the progress, and I don't want to ruin the progress. Work. Work. <laughs> okay, so next meal, we ordered- She said, meal. she said, <laughs> I see the progress, I feel the progress. I'm ordering takeout. I deserve it. <laughs> get it. Although I do love going to Jason's Deli. I don't know if y'all have ever been, but I love going to the Jason's Deli and getting their salad bar because you can just the salad bar. Actually, honestly, I think Amber Lynn would love going there. Maybe not for the salad bar, but you get a free ice cream cone. You can get free ice cream when you go to the actual store. You're missing out on actual ice cream by not just going to the store and doing it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, 10 out of 10, recommend the Jason's Deli. I got chili okay. and these blue chips with salsa. It is honestly so freaking delicious. So freaking delicious. Um, I the calories, cause- That's like- I'm trying like- That feels like such a throwaway of a, of a takeout order. Honestly, you ordered some chips. Like, some chili and some chips. How silly to have this be your order. I don't get it. What I'm trying to do is order from places that, um, like, have their calories, like, already on the menu. So okay. I don't have to, like, sit there and, like, guess or anything like that. So well, that's a, I, I yeah. will say, that is a little bit of a smarter idea because she, that's what she's been doing. I think we've all seen she's just been guessing at the calories of her food. I honestly love Jason's Deli. I've just never had their chili before. So we're going to do a taste test. And yes, I'm wearing right. something different because I actually just got out of the shower. <gasps> Ding, 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 alert, alert, shower, alert, shower, alert, wee, woo, wee, woo, wee, woo, wee, woo. Did Amberlynn read shower today? She sure did. Okay, let's do a taste test. Let's see. Is it gonna Jason be good? Deli is also great because their cups are reusable, so I reuse them for like a week now that I have an ice tray. Okay. So, yeah. It feels like I'm getting a fountain Okay, don't know how to talk. Feels like I'm getting a fountain drink without actually having to pay for the fountain drink because I'm reusing it. Anyways, all right, let's go. That was so silly. Girl, you can, you can feel like you're, just get a straw. Get a straw. <laughs> what is this reasoning? I don't understand. I can't understand her logic and reasoning there. I'm sure it makes sense for her though. Oh, she's good. You wanna try it, babe? Oh, baby. Baby, try this my like chili. A, um, and by my chili, I mean the Jason's Deli chili, but my chili is probably better. But baby, do you want to try some? Why is she always asking wifey to try her food? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, maybe I'm just selfish, but if, I, if I'm if i eating something, I'm not offering it to anybody else. I'm, I'm very protective over my food. I got some food aggression, maybe. 
For me, a solid 10 out of 10. Oh, come on! Did you did you see her putting that million dollar tongue to use? No, I don't want to try it. This is this is what my girlfriend got. It's so good. A sandwich. What's on it? I don't remember. It's so good. I see turkey. I see avocado. Pepper Jack. Okay. Give like the littlest nibble. Just didn't see it. This could be like a 10 calorie bite. No, no, no. It's going to be a 5 calorie bite. Was that was that the littlest <laughs> nibble? Also, why why would you care about a, a tiny bite of a sandwich if you don't even care about measuring out your olive oil when you cook? Just wondering. It is good. Okay, now try my chili. <laughs> They're sharing okay, a if food. If I had to rate yours though, I'd give it like an eight. Maybe a seven. Wow. Oh, wow. Really? That million dollar tongue getting put to work. Is it just, I mean, like, I guess I have shared food with Noel before, but is, like, is, is it just me or is there something weird about the way that they're sharing food? I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's Amberlynn. Honestly, that might be my bias, that it's just weird to me that, that they're sharing this piece of their relationship of them, like, nibbling on each other's food. It's good. Uh, not better than your chili, though. Oh, my Not God. this. Everyone love my chili. You guys. No, it's not. We need to have a meet and greet. Where we. And I'll make the chili. I'll supply the chili. You guys supply the drinks. I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. I'll also supply your chili the way I made it on my channel. I've, I've made her chili twice on my channel because she did post, like, an updated recipe that was slightly different than the way I made it the first time. And both times, it was just okay. I mean, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't amazing. And at this point, wifey's lying. Wife, and good for wifey. Wifey, lie about whatever gets you that check. Lie about whatever keeps that roof over your head, girl. B O wait B Y O D. Bring your own drinks. You could have just said BYOB, which is bring your own beverages, and you would have been fine. I know sometimes it's bring your own beer, but you could have just used the BYOB. We are about to do a torrid moment. No. So we're this bag. I think this is I think this is only bag two. I think there's a whole entire third bag that we haven't even gotten to, if I remember correctly. Like, could we just be done with this? I miss the days where we just did one video dedicated to a torrid haul because honestly I could skip it. I would just usually skip it. But don't you worry. There's another bag. See, I told you. Ooh, okay, so size four means no. it is a dress. Okay. She's a little wrinkly. How many been... how many more dresses and t-shirts do we need in this same like mauve boring ass color? I swear to God, she has so many things that look exactly like this. But let's try her on. Woo. All right, guys. I don't like Here it. Here she is. Does she have pockets? I don't like it. Yeah. I love the buttons. I think it's super cute. I mean, it's pretty basic, bestie. <laughs> are my boobs too big? No. Okay. My boobs are actually kind of small for my body type. Are That's they? my opinion. Are so, they? So, this is how... It looks. I am. What are these red the pants? pants? Do not go with this at all. What are these, these red are just, like, pants? These pants that I wear around the house. Girl, I've never seen these red pants before. I'm ba da ba 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 loving it. It definitely goes better with the shirt that I am wearing today. Would never wear these two things together. That'd be hitified. But okay, it so would be it does what? It would be good. What I was that word? Cardigan because my bra does show in the back. Don't like that at all. It's lightweight. Um, these cute little ties on top, I actually really, really like that. I think that's super cute. But you're going to be wearing a cardigan, so who gives a shit? A seven? Yeah, I'm going to give it a seven. I mean, it's cute. I don't know. I might be rating it a little low just because I don't like my pants with it, so I'm not getting, like, the full effect. Okay, nope. As I was editing this, <laughs> I absolutely hate it. I give it a negative two out of ten. Not this a, is a no for me. Not a negative two out of ten. What a turnaround. This is why I really truly believe when she's out here trying all this torrid, she's just saying shit. Cause she rates all of it high. And then you know she doesn't end up wearing 
75% of it. So you know she doesn't actually like it if it's not something she's wearing frequently. So, no. The, the torrid moments have got to stop. They're so dumb. They're meaningless. They're pointless. It's just a way for you to continue buying shit you don't need, bestie. Okay, so we're actually about to go on a bride. I like that we like to go on, like, car rides. Okay. We actually go shopping or something. I don't even know. But I do want to change my pants because you won't catch me dead. You won't catch me dead wearing these pants in public. Like, why not? Absolutely not. I don't understand. I don't understand. I've never seen these pants before. I don't think they look bad. I don't understand why she has such an aversion to wearing them in public. Do they smell or something and we don't know it? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't understand why these are any better or worse than the same fucking black leggings you wear every single day. I would like to make a petition to have Amberlynn Reed wear these pants more often, honestly. I gotta admit, I'm like really hungry right now, but I'm probably just gonna wait to eat. Is she really taking her pants off on um, camera right now? Because I'm I mean, binging mood. I guess I guess you can't see shit, but, <laughs> but what a weird thing to do on camera while you're talking about I don't know whatever it is you're talking about right now. I'm distracted by the pants. I'm very hyper focused on the pants. Okay, so I have a story time for you guys. There is a spider by our outside door. Ugh, spiders. Speaking of, in the video that nobody could watch, and by nobody I mean iPad and iPhone users. She said something about spiders injecting something, something, something into her body. And I said, that's not how spiders work. And I knew when I was editing that video, I was like, somebody's going to end up posting and saying that that is, in fact, how spiders work. And I was correct. People did. And I was incorrect that they don't. They do. Okay, so my apologies to the spider community. I didn't realize. I hate spiders but my girlfriend has adopted it as her child or something. What? And it's just like hanging, chilling in a spider web. And you guys remember yesterday when I thought a spider like- Oh yeah, good point. You said that we don't have bugs. We don't have spiders. Girl, we've seen a bug literally fall out of your hair before. So we know, we know what's up, but okay. So you do have a spider in your home. Um, was killing me because I had that bite on my wrist, by the way, so much better now. Um, so I was saying yesterday, I was like, oh my god, what if, like, if that spider came in the house, then the, she goes, no, Henry stays outside. Oh, she named the spider Henry. Okay. I, it and was what? so funny, like, when she said that, because... Is it? Is it so... We're just dropping off the garbage real quick. Uh before we head to the store. But dropping off the garbage, what do you mean? Um, it was honestly so funny. Like it was like you should have been there type of moment because like I guess I should have been there because I have not laughed once during this story time yet, honestly. I didn't know she named the spider. I don't even think she knew she named the spider when <laughs> she goes, Oh no, Henry stays outside. Oh my god, it was actually hilarious, but I am in stitches, just laughing. Just, you got me in stitches, girl. Yeah, we're just uh, dropping off some trash. How many bags is there? Just one. Oh, okay. We have trash ballet, but sometimes we just take the trash ourselves. So yeah, anyway. I don't know what any of that means. You have trash ballet? Is that like valet parking? I don't get it. I don't, maybe that's a, a a thing in apartment buildings that I've just never experienced before. Henry the Spider, how to tell you about it. We have arrived. Come on, Meyer. This is actually the Meyer I used to go to back in like 2017. So if you guys have watched those vlogs. 2017? Wait, no. 2016. Whenever I was with Destiny. Oh my God, the Destiny era. This is literally the only grocery store sushi I will eat Well, is at Myers. Let's get to, let's get to, let's pick some up. I know you are in your sushi era right now where you eat it every other day, so you mark as well. So I might get me one or two. So there's like a rumor that I use a scooter. I don't. I actually have not used a scooter in a store. A recent rumor? 
I haven't seen anybody recently talking about you using a scooter because also in recent history, you only go out to the store every two weeks, which means when it comes to videos, like once a month, <laughs> like, like uh, what rumor are you talking? Sometimes I'm like, you're just recycling old rumors or old things about you. I don't, what rumor are you talking about, bestie? But also, I do love that she is walking around not using a scooter when old Chantal, who used to harass her about using scooters, is now using scooters when she goes to Costco. But that's neither here nor there. Well, wait. Sriracha almonds? Wait, I was meant to be over here. I'm so getting these. Baby, I found sriracha almonds. You were meant to be there? This isn't fucking like... <laughs> like destiny not the destiny era but like she's acted like it's like some clandestine fate that she found these almonds that is no that's not how food works okay so we found a dangerous situation over here lemon cream almonds okay keep walking girl um, you need to get out of the nut aisle all of these nuts are just too enticing to you and as somebody who has been enticed by a nut before you got to run, girl. You, you need to run. Stop getting enticed by those nuts. <gasps> oh, milk chocolate vanilla sea salt caramels. Because now, now you're just looking at the chocolates. Girl, that's just that's just chocolate. That That's not even nut anymore. That's not even a, a good nut in your mouth. That, that is chocolate and caramel. 11 pieces for 140 calories. Tempting. Very tempting. So we're just getting like, cause we like to snack, but we don't want any. So we're not, we're not getting any whole foods. We're not getting ingredients to make stuff. We're getting snacks to go along with the takeout stuff. We're getting pre-made processed packaged food to go along with your takeout orders. <laughs> Got it. Lemon shortbread bites. Wait, I want that, I want that, I want that. Oh my god, girl, get out of this aisle. This is all straight up candy, girl. I, does she think she's still in the nut aisle? I mean, like, nuts are a great snack. They really are, but this these are this is not nut, this is just straight up candy. Okay, so I got a notebook. Leave the fucking notebook at the fucking mire. Leave it. What could you possibly need that for? What also, just looking ahead, what do we need another fucking chalkboard, calendar, whiteboard thing? You already got one of those. You already got one of those. We got this for the office. It's a chalkboard, but with like calendars um, and a lot of other random stuff. Is that fucking baby food? Does she have baby food in her cart? What? <laughs> Why does she have baby? What could wifey and Amberlynn possibly need baby food for? I mean, maybe they're donating it or something. Like, maybe they're buying it to donate somewhere. But why is there baby food? I'm gonna need an explanation. I'm gonna need an explanation. Is this, ooh, is it, is, maybe they're into role playing or something. I don't know. I would like an explanation, please, Amberlynn. I got my socks and those are containers for uh, our desk area. We have like these, what would you call it, cabinets? You'll you'll explain the, the fucking containers, but we can't talk about the baby food. Drawers. <laughs> so yeah, now, we we're about to go check out. Okay, so next meal, it's 750 calories, it is couscous. Just straight up couscous, not a veggie, not a protein, we're just having good old dry, plain ass couscous, okay. 750 calories, is it worth it? Let me work it. Put the thing down, flip it and reverse it. <sighs> yes. Because I'm obsessed with it. But it does this it is, does seem like a lot of calories. I know. This is her new obsession. This is this is this is joining the ranks of the sushi and the instant instant noodles and <laughs> and all the other things that she just has on repeat. This is like the fifth time we've watched her eat some fucking couscous. Okay, okay. so we're gonna try. Are you gonna try the baby food? Are we taste testing the baby food? bunch of random snacks, but 
it's only gonna be one piece of everything and then obviously I'll calculate all the calories and I will let you guys know what it came out to right here for the snacks that I try. The like, the like individual, like the fact that she <laughs> came up with 80 calories for each individual one piece of each snack that she's trying but then she doesn't want to count olive oil when she cooks her eggs. Literally, the amount of olive oil she put in her eggs the other day is more calories than she got from this. And I, I assure you, because like one tablespoon or two tablespoons, this is just me from memory, don't, don't fact check me on this, but like one tablespoon, two tablespoons is like 100 calories, okay? So easily what she put in to cook her eggs is more than this, more than this 80 calories that she somehow came up with from these snacks. And Berlin, what you're editing, do not forget. Milk chocolate, sea salt caramel raisins. Okay. Milk chocolate, right. sea salt caramel raisins, yeah. Okay. I could bathe in it. No, oh. how, how would you bathe in it, though? <laughs> I'll bathe in milk, Doug. How would you bathe in it? Plus, you already showered today. You told us that. Yeah. Malted milkshake, yes. So zero through ten? Uh, six. Honestly, this taste test part is probably gonna get mostly cut out of my fi final video. But the one thing I will say about it is that it just continues to remind me how annoying it is that wifey will sit off camera and we have to listen to these boring ass conversations between her and Amber Lynn. Just either be on camera or don't. Honestly, at this point, <laughs> be on camera or don't. Like, I'm tired of all of these little side conversations. Like, it really, as much as I understand people not wanting to be involved in Amber Lynn's channel and things like that, it's like, it's clear that you sort of do to some extent, you know? And I respect your privacy, me of all people. Y'all know, I, I don't think we should be invading this woman's privacy. But I'm just so tired of this baby being off of off camera having these full ass conversations that are honestly boring as hell just a little chick pay 10 11 wait can I have more no. <laughs> I know <laughs> see y'all this is a good example. A lot of people are like, does your girlfriend support you? Does she ever tell you no, like, when you want to binge? Proof just happened. Before we clicked onto this, we promised it was only one piece per snack. I just asked her for another, and she said no. Wow, so supportive, babe. Baby, you're so <laughs> supportive. No, like, okay. All right, wow. <laughs> but then she sat there and had fucking Jason's Deli with you earlier. She she sits there and gets all the takeout with you. Bestie, this one example, like, sure, of course. Because you're caught on camera. You're caught the fuck on camera, girl. So she does help me. She is a good support system. She's not, like, bossy mean. I'm a grown-ass adult. But, like, if I really, 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 truly wanted one, I would. But it's moments like that where it's more so just like, oh, I want another one, where she helps me. So thank you, baby. You're welcome, baby. Aww, thank you, baby, for not letting me have one more chickpea. Thank you. Thanks, babe. Baby. Dark chocolate blueberries. I don't really like dark chocolate. Oh, and they're purple, but I like dark chocolate blueberry things, so. Uh, I'm done. Okay, so I just sat here. We both did. Um, and we did it separately to figure out who was accurate. Because figuring out the calories per one piece of each thing. Okay, first of all. <laughs> that whole situation type of deal. So unnecessary. So goofy. So silly. And if she's about to go talk about how hard it is to figure out the calories for each individual item, but she won't even take the time to, to count the calories for her oil, it's just so silly to me. It's goofy. None of this matters. <laughs> None of this matters. So silly. It's very interesting. So how I did it was super simple. 
I just took the calories, 160, divided it by how many pieces were a serving, and then I got an answer. So I did all that with all of them, and then I added all that up, and I got 76. We're gonna round up though to 80. What? So, Wait, why are we rounding up? That's not how math, math works. The way you described how you calculated that made 100% sense. That made 100% sense. You probably got a very accurate answer doing it that way. Why are we rounding up to 80 calories? Like, when I say shit's not adding up, usually it's like in the metaphorical sense. But like, if I did that math, on the calculator right now, it would literally, shit would literally not be adding up. Ma'am, what, how? So, that's how. I'm currently getting ready for bed. All right. So tired. Good night, Amber Lynn. Oh, let's, let's do the good night moon book, you know, where they go around and say good night to all the things. Good night, Judy. Good night, Judy's chair. Good night, Judy's blanket. Good night, shelf. Good night, Amber Lynn. Calories for today. 1,711. Okay. So that's really good. Um, seems, within my range. Seems reasonable. The only thing that I feel like I should have done better on, I needed more water today. Like, my lymphedema is swelling. Um, it's super, super swollen from the car ride, from uh, walking in the store. It's just like, you know, if you don't have knowledge about lymphedema. I think it's interesting that like, I mean, obviously drink water. People, I, I, I've i talked about this before. I don't understand why everybody's always like, I need to drink more water. And I think it's just because like, I naturally drink water on top of all the caffeinated beverages I drink. And so like, to me, it doesn't make sense that so many people are always like, I need to drink more water. But also on top of that, everything you ate today probably was like very high in sodium. So that's not me like actually going and checking the nutrition facts on any of that stuff, but like take out like food from Jason Deli's, that, that chili from Jason's Deli, probably high in sodium. You started your day off with a cup of ramen noodle, which is high in sodium for sure. I, I can say that from personal experience. And you also had a whole box of couscous, which probably was high in sodium, you know? So it's just like, sodium causes swelling. <laughs> like, sodium dehydrates you, girl. Like, I don't... You like, yes, drink more water, but also sodiums. Multiple sodiums. It's very interesting. It's unfortunate that I have it because, because it, it honestly gets in the way of life. Sure, yeah, I'm sure it does. Um, lymphedema is not curable. I have been, I don't know if I told you guys, but I have been referred to a lymphedema doctor and a physical therapist for my lymphedema. So that is in the works. Oh, good, for, yeah. Just like an update on Go that. do that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna end. Is this episode four? It is. Oh, five hundred pounds. Well, that's what the title says. Sure. So <laughs> yeah. it's probably episode five. I'm hoping for a weight loss, but at this point, I'm not so sure based on how swollen I am. Um, I definitely could have done better in the eating department as well when it comes to quality. Sure, 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 sure. The sodiums. Uh, had some sodium today, for sure. Okay, okay. So she got there. She got to the same page. But of course, it is just the water. So, anyways, I'm going to go to sleep. All right. And I'll see you guys Good in the night. Week. Bye. Bye. All right, besties. Well, that's that on that, huh? <laughs> That's that on that. What an interesting, fascinating day. I, the, the things that, like, she gets hung up on are so small. Like, the 0.2 pound weight gain or, like, the 80 calories of snacks that she taste tested. Like, I, I wish she could just see bigger picture. But you know what? This is her life. Maybe, the, maybe if she was reflecting on all of the stuff that she just filmed and said out loud, uh, she could, you know, learn from, from some of that. Maybe if she talked to her therapist about some of that, that would be helpful. I don't know. Hard to say. But <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. And that is all the time I have for today, at least. And uh, this outro is really awkward. So if it's your first time on my channel, 
Make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell button so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I had so much fun today. I hope you did too, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!